So you probably made it to this video because you're in the market for Melodica. You looked on Amazon, you looked on eBay, you saw they're on sale for about $15, maybe $30. You've seen them for about 50 or 100. You're probably deciding between the ones that are about 15 to $30, and you're not sure which one to get. So this video is to help you to compare the $15 and the $30. So when you start off, you've got a good idea of what you're gonna be getting. Either that or you're procrastinating something you should be doing right now and you're looking up comparison videos on YouTube. Don't worry, we've all been there. Now, the two melodicas I will be comparing are the Iron 32 Key Melodica. This is the cheapest one you can find at Amazon. This is the basically $15 one. I found it for $18. I've seen it on sale for a little less. Versus the Honer Instructor 32B Melodica. Now, this is the highest rated one on Amazon. I bought it for about $35, but right now I saw it was on sale for $30, so I will be comparing these. Now before I get into the comparison of the Melodicas themselves, I'm going to be talking about what they come with. Now the cheaper one comes with a bag to carry it in. Now it's decent quality, it's um, I don't know the name of the material, but it's sort of like a cotton fabric type thing. It's like the uh, reusable bags you see at grocery stores that are like five cents. Basically made of that material. Uh, it's decent quality. Nothing too much to say about it. I mean, it fits with the Melodica, so it's not bad. However, the Honer Melodica comes with a lot nicer of a case. It's a lot more solid, so it'll keep the Melodica a little bit safer if you're transporting it a lot. Uh, it opens up, so it's got nice kind of felt on the inside as well. Uh, this is for the mouthpiece, and it's a lot better quality. So if you're gonna be transporting it a lot of places, wanna look a little more professional, I would definitely recommend this one. They also come with a mouthpiece. I don't even remember which one is which. They're similar quality, so I'm not even gonna bother comparing those. Plus, I don't even play with them, so. So onto the physical aspects of it. Now, it's a little hard to tell in the video, but the Honer Melodica has a little bit more of a yellowish tint to it, sort of like you see in a little bit older pianos, while the Iron Instruments this one has a little more of a keyboard type look to the keys. They're a little more white. Uh, so I don't know, whatever you prefer. I sort of actually prefer the cheaper Melodica's keys look, but that's just me. There's really not too big of a difference. Uh, one thing that is also included in the cheaper Melodica, uh, it's a little hard to see. Oh, there you go. So they have the Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on all of the keys, and you can also tell the octave by, uh, there's a little dot below signifying that's an octave below. There's no dot on this octave, go up, there's one dot above the notes, and there's a letter, and then there's two above the top. Uh, I don't really know how big of a deal this is for anyone. I don't think this would matter to many people, maybe if you're just starting off, but I would actually rather see C, D, E, F, G on the keys rather than the, the Do, Re, Mi, but I don't know, it's a little bit of a nice touch, but doesn't matter too much to me. It might to you though. And now if we look at the back of the Melodica, they're actually pretty much identical. Like they probably came from the same exact place because I can't tell a difference between the two at all other than the strap itself, which is black versus white. And they actually look to be the same exact strap as well. Um, but the only difference other than that is the little bumps on the bottom. On the Iron one, it's actually raised a little bit more than on the Honer Melodica. This doesn't matter at all. I mean, both play pretty flat on a surface. So yeah, backs are basically the same. Now into the actual playing of the keys, you'll notice with the cheaper Melodica, after you play a note, there's a little bit more of a ringing sound. So it's kind of hard to hear, but I'll kind of overdo it and... So you can kind of hear it rings a little bit, uh, a little more at least compared to. So they're not too different, but there is a little bit louder of a ringing noise in this one. I don't know if the mic was able to pick it up too well, but it definitely is there. Also when playing the keys of the cheaper melodica, especially some of the lower notes, there's a little bit more resistance than on the more expensive melodica. This one feels like it's a lot easier to play. There's less resistance, there's less push. Uh, it feels really easy to press down on the keys. Okay, so now onto the actual sound. I'm gonna play a piece with both of these melodicas, but I'm not gonna tell you which one I'm playing. So 
there's no biases. You don't think, okay, well, the cheaper one should sound like this. Just listen to them both, see which one you like more, and then I'll go more into it after. Now, I'm going to play probably the most recognizable theme on the melodica out there. Here we go. So replay those, see which one you liked better, see which one you think sounded better, and now I'm going to tell you which one was which. So the first one I played was the more expensive melodica, the second one I played was the cheaper melodica. So I don't know which sound you like better. I prefer the sound of the more expensive melodica. It's very subtle. I don't know if it's able to pick it up on there. However, I think it gives it a little bit warmer of a sound. Now your reasoning for getting a melodica may be different than mine because a melodica is sort of a joke instrument. It's not, you know, supposed to be played in this really professional setting. So having a different sound like the cheaper one actually kind of gives it a more comedic feel in my opinion. It's very subtle. Again, I'm just trying to say exactly how I feel about them. But if you're going something that's kind of a little harsh, a little brash, you know, with the cheaper melodica, you get that a little more. So if you're doing it to sort of be funny, if you're doing it in the comedy show or I don't know, whatever you're doing it in, if you want that effect, and have it sound a little bit funnier, a little bit goofier, a little bit less like a piano, you're going to get that with the cheaper instrument. However, if you want something that sounds a little nicer, a little more like a piano, that's what you're going to be getting with the Honer. So if that's what you're looking for, I would recommend this if that's worth the price difference to you. Again, you could hear it's very subtle. It's very tiny. One last thing I would like to mention, this is pretty small, but I really just want to go over everything so you have all the details before you go out and buy. When you play the cheaper melodica, uh, when you play some of the lower notes, especially even some of the higher notes, the whole thing sort of vibrates. Like you feel it when you're playing and sometimes you feel a little bit in the mouthpiece. It's sort of shaking and that's just from being a cheaper instrument, you know, that's what you're going to get. And it's really small. It's just a little vibrate. It feels cheaper uh, with the Honer 32B. You don't get that at all. It feels like, you know, you're playing a piano when you just play a key. Uh, but this one, there's a little bit of vibration. It almost feels like it's falling apart a little bit, but it's very small. Again, it's not anything too big. One thing I also noticed was to get out the same note on the cheaper one compared to the expensive one, it requires a little more air. So if you're playing especially some of the lower keys, you're going to have to be breathing a little bit heavier than the more expensive one. So if you're someone who gets lightheaded easy, when you first start off on this, you might be pushing yourself a little bit more than if you were getting the more expensive one. So my final thoughts. If I could sum it up in one sentence, it would be you get what you pay for. Now, I don't mean this in a negative way. I'm not trying to bash the $15 melodica. I'm saying you get a little bit better of a melodica for $30 than you do for $15. So this isn't like a situation where they're made in the same factory. They're the same exact product. One just has a different label. And this also isn't you actually get an instrument for $30 and you get a toy for $15. They're pretty similar build. They're pretty similar melodicas but you get a little bit better of a sound, a little bit better of a feel, a little bit better of a case for $30 than you do for $15. So if you're just starting off and you want the cheapest thing available, I would recommend getting the $15 one. However, if you like the sound of the $30 one, you're going to be taking it places you want a little bit better of a travel case. I would recommend the $30 one. They're both definitely justifiable at their prices. So I'm not going to be saying one is a much better value than the other one. If anything, I would say the $15 one is a little bit better value. But if money's not a huge issue to you and you want a little bit better, definitely go for the $30 melodica. And then if you like that, maybe work your way up to the $50 or the $100 melodica in the future. So that's about it for the video. I hope you found it helpful. Your results may vary. I might have gotten a good batch of one of the melodicas and a bad batch of the other. So maybe they're more similar or different than what I said, but from the two melodicas that I have, that is what I found out. So I hope you found this helpful when deciding which melodica to get.
So if I did help you, I would really appreciate if you could help me out by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel. Help me out a ton. Uh, maybe I saved you $15 or maybe I saved you from getting a slightly worse melodica. I don't know. That's about it for the video. I put out two new videos a week, Tutorial Tuesdays and whatever I feel like Fridays. So if you have any ideas for videos, I'd love to hear them. I could do some more comparison videos if you like that, more melodica videos, whatever it is, I'd love to hear from you. So please leave a comment, tell me what you want to see, tell me if you liked this video, tell me if you didn't. I'd love to hear from you. So I hope you found the video helpful. Thanks again for watching. Peace.